In this video, we'll look at how we can add content timeline items inside of a pro slider to create horizontal timeline layouts. By default, the timeline contains one item. If we were doing a vertical layout, we would insert new items. But if we're using inside of a slider, we do this a different way. Let's add a pro slider. And add the content timeline element inside of the slide. We then need to enable the support for the pro slider and choose our layout. Either the content at the top or at the bottom. We can then control the layout from the slider settings. We'll show three slides and make the container a bit wider. Instead of adding new timeline items, we just add new slides. We now have one timeline item inside each slide. It's important that our markers are in line, so let's change the alignment for the slide. Setting it to start will align all the markers correctly. If we had the content at the top, then we'd need to set the slide alignment to end. On the front end, we now have our horizontal timeline layout. We'll remove the dots and add some active styles. Let's make these elements turn black when the slide is active. Here the line won't be visible inside of the builder. Let's view on the front. We can move the focus to the center of the slider and disable the trimming of the empty space. Now the active slide is centered, with the empty space visible on the left. Because we're using the Pro Slider, it means we can take advantage of other features like syncing with another slider. We'll add a second slider, which the timeline can control. This can be our main slider. Let's make it a bit larger. Now we can sync the two sliders. 
we don't need the content area for this layout. We'll use the ID, main slider. Now we can browse across the timeline and see any content from each post in the top slider.